infrastructure to make sure that we can properly finance both our defense and non-defense needs. The reason Assad is still in power is because Russia and Iran have supported him throughout this process. And in that sense, what Russia is doing now is not particularly different from what they had been doing in the past. They're just more overt about it. They've been propping up a regime that is rejected by an overwhelming majority of the Syrian population because they've seen that he has been willing to drop barrel bombs on children and on villages indiscriminately. The humility that he brings to this, um, you know, his and the notion that he put forward a plan and that somehow the international community sees that as viable because uh, there's a vacuum there. I didn't see after he made that speech in the United Nations, suddenly the 60 nation coalition that we have start lining up behind him. Iran and Assad make up Mr. Putin's coalition at the moment. The rest of the world makes up ours. With a warm heart. And it's because interest groups fund campaigns, feed people fear. And in fairness, it's not just in the Republican Party, although the Republican Party is just uniformly opposed to all gun safety laws. And unless we change that political dynamic, we're not going to be able to make a, a, a big dent in this problem. I know, for example, that uh, there are many Republicans who are, our homicide, our homicide rates are just a lot higher than other places that, by the way, have the same levels of violence. It's just, they, you can't kill as many people when you don't have easy access to these kinds of weapons. We're not going to stop uh, in these last uh, 15 months. Well, okay, here's what, we, here's what you need to do. You have to make sure that, it, that anybody who you are voting for is on the right side of this issue. And if they're not, even if they're great on other stuff, for a couple of election cycles, you've got to vote against them. And let them know precisely why you're voting against them. And, and, and you just have to, for a while, be a single-issue voter, because that's what it is happening on the other side. And that's going to take some time.